I'm Sydney Pellegrini. And I'm Zach Wiley, and this is Wolfpack News for Monday, May 19th, 2014. The LRC will be closed during periods 4 through 7, beginning Monday for the remainder of the school year. All students should be in their guided study, freshman seminar, or ASP unless they have a pass to see a tutor, to be in writing center, or see a specific teacher. Clinics and auditions for students wishing to be members of the Color Guard are taking place today, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 to 8. All, students, all interested students should enter through door 3 and arrive in the band room by 6 each evening. Past experience is not necessary to be a member. Wear comfortable clothing, gym shoes, or dance shoes, but please, no jeans. See Mrs. O'Neill in the band room, B141, with questions. As the school year comes to a close, we look back on how some students' year, years went. Here's Chris Salazar and Jesse Hernandez with more. As the school year comes to a close, we ask students to reflect on what they may or may not have accomplished. I feel like I accomplished some, somewhat, but I wish I could have done a lot more, but um, I did. I feel like I have because I have tried so hard throughout all of my four years of high school. I feel like it's just a big accomplishment for me just succeeding through high school. Um, this school year I accomplished a lot of things. First, I raised my GPA, which I needed to do in order to get into a good college, which I'm going to start applying to after junior year, so that really helped a lot. As the seniors move on, the juniors are looking forward to being at the top of the food chain. It feels good. Uh, you know, just one more year left, got to push through and be at the top, you know, it's going to feel good. College is right around the corner, and these seniors are more than excited to start a whole new chapter in their life. Been here four years. I mean, did good in school, did all I can do, and now I'm going to college, so I feel pretty great. As we move on, some students would like to give some words of advice to the rest of the school. To incoming seniors, I always say to go out, finish out strong and hard. Don't slack off just because, oh yeah, it's your last year. But just finish off strong and then pretty much just finish the year with a great year and have fun. Words of advice that I could give is for your senior year, take advantage of it. You know, don't just let it go. I mean, it, you know, it's going to go by fast. So look at it that way. And then for any other students, just look forward to your senior year. Students enrolled in AP European History next year. You must pick up a green packet and return the last sheet with a signature by Wednesday to Miss Wren. And now it's time for sports. Here's Sam. Congrats to Lena Huang on finishing in the top 16 at the state badminton finals over the weekend at Eastern Illinois University. Lena finished the season with a 33-3 record and became the only player in SBC badminton conference history to make it to day two of the finals and finish in the top 16 at state. All boys interested in helping in playing boys basketball this summer and next winter, there will be a brief meeting on Wednesday at 7 a.m. in the small gym. If you cannot attend, please see Coach Szymanski. Did you know that Oswego East has a rugby team? Known as the Chiefs, they include several local high schools, including OE. The Chiefs won their first round playoff ma match on May 14th and are now just two wins away from a state championship. They'll be competing in semifinal playoffs against the Arlington Stallions this week. The game will be played at Crossroads Community Church at the corner of Viola and Wolf's Crossing Thursday at 6 p.m. Come out to Crossroads Community Church and support the rugby team. All wrestlers, there is a brief mandatory meeting after school tomorrow in the wrestling gym at 2.35. Please be there for important information. The varsity softball team is holding a fundraiser game tomorrow for Maddie Beathan, a fifth grade student in Yorkville who was diagnosed with lymph lymphoplastic lymphoma in February. Maddie is a cheerleader, basketball, and softball player. Please come out and watch the team play Plainfield South, enjoy a cookout, and help out by making any donations to the family. Donations can be anything from a small monetary donation to gift cards left over from the holidays. Any questions, please see Ms. Nussel. Boys and girls interested in running cross country, there's a mandatory meeting regarding summer running and the fall season next Wednesday at 7 a.m. in room B250. See Coach Cook or Coach Milner if you have any questions. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Sydney Pellegrini. And I'm Zach Wiley. Join us again tomorrow on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.